So something that shows up regularly is teachers will give you a couple functions, like maybe say f of x equals x squared minus 3, and let's say g of x equals 1 minus 2x, for example. And they'll ask you for a few things. One thing might be something like, what does f of 3 equal? Or maybe they'll ask you, what about f of g of x? Right? We call this composition of functions. Or maybe the other way around as well. Let's write g of f of 2. And the question is, how do you do all three of these? And it ends up, even though they all look a little different, you actually do all three of them exactly the same way. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing is that it's helpful to rewrite the original functions f and g. And here's what I mean by that. I think the right way to think about it is not as f of x equals x squared minus 3, but as f of a box. And you can put into that box anything you want. So here I've taken the x's and I've replaced them with a box. So let's do the same thing for g. So it's g of 1 minus 2 times our box. And the point is, you can put whatever you want in the boxes. So for example, on the left here, for f, we had put x in the boxes. And that's why f of x equals x squared minus 3. Or similarly, for g, we had put x in the box. That's why g of x equaled 1 minus 2x. But there's no reason we have to put x in the box. You can put whatever you want in there. So for example, let's look at this first problem, f of 3. For f of 3, we're taking the f equation and we're putting 3 in the box. So let's do that. So I come up to the box and I fill in a 3. Okay, so f of 3 is 3 squared minus 3, which is 9 minus 3, which is 6. And there we go. We computed f of 3. Okay, so how about these other ones? So it's exactly the same thing, but now we're putting g of x in the box. So let's do that. So in the box here, I fill in a g of x to both of them. So I'll put the same thing here. That gives me g of x squared minus 3. Great. But then we can do one more thing, because if we look above, we see what g of x is. g of x is just 1 minus 2x. So I fill in for g of x 1 minus 2x. And it's always helpful to put things in parentheses. That way you don't run into trouble. So at that point, maybe your teacher wants you to square it or maybe not. But this is good. We figured out what is f of g of x. So again, it's just taking the f equation and putting g inside the box. So let's go ahead and look at the last one here. So this last one, I'm taking the g equation and I'm putting f of 2 in the box. So OK, I'll go ahead and do that. And then I look up above, what is f of 2? f of 2 means I take the f equation and I plug in 2. OK, so let's first go ahead and write f of 2. OK, so let's do that. So I'll take the f equation and I'll plug in 2. OK, so that's what f of 2 is. So let's go ahead and put that in here. So f of 2 is just 2 squared minus 3. And then you're basically done. You do a little bit of arithmetic to finish out the problem. And at that point, we see the g of f of 2 is just 1 minus 2 or negative 1. And there you go. So at that point, you should be able to do any sort of problem like this because all you're doing is putting whatever they ask you to put inside of the box. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get to those. Thanks everyone. Have a good one.